traversing distances as the countryside rushes past, the car so fast and yet so slow, smoothly gliding above the black tar, as fellow past travellers join me and then leave again, each with their own destination, their own homes, own works, own lives, and yet sharing the space together, some briefly, some for a while. I feel like reaching out, taking their hands, but we sit in our own space. So I merely enjoy these moments as one minute rolls into the next, like waves in the sea. Coco slumbers in the back seat, trusting this path, trusting our journey, trusting me. And George Porter sings, smile, even though your heart is breaking. And I sing along, and before I can look back, the song changes, and soon I'm dreaming of lovers in Paris with Melody Gardot. Miles and miles are covered, and the dark silhouettes of majestic pines are replaced by mighty oaks and tall white beech. Arriving here, far away from home, to another home, another place I know from a time ago. The forests that now have the blush of the palest green, as soft fresh leaves burst into being. I know it so well from a time long ago. Returning now, it feels like homecoming, as the sun bursts forth in a blue sky, a welcoming embrace sent from above and here. And then I notice the sky and see the same blue. I watch the tulips opening to be kissed by the sun, the same way mine do, so many miles away. And the flowers turn towards the sky and the warmth, just the same as mine do. And the sun, during the morning, cuts through the heavy air that settled overnight, slices right through to warm the grass and leaves. Although I miss the blightness and the airy breeziness, I cannot help but relish this familiar feeling I know so well, so long ago, and realize that this home is not as far from my other after all, and not so different, and that beneath one infinite blue sky, home is everywhere.